go. Okay, so today's gonna be another day in a lifetime video. Um, starting one of my projects today, renovating a house, kind of part renovating a house. So a new kitchen needs to go in. I've knocked down one of the walls already. I need to knock down another wall and rebuild it in a different place. And they're having spotlights, a glass banister, and all of that type of stuff. So it's a bit of a renovation, not a full renovation, but yeah. So today I'm knocking down the stud wall and rebuilding it in a different spot. But first, I've got a few errands to run and I need to get materials for this job. So yeah, get materials now. Everything's sectioned off in this circle. I might have to go to the contractor CLS, which is kind of annoying. Like, look at that bow. Look at that bow. Look at that boat. Look at it. Uh, I need to get one three meter length. So I want to get right now. Can I just get two of the three meter lengths? Thank you. Just need to get some plasterboard and some. Yeah, just some plasterboard now. And the plasterboard is sectioned off. Got the plasterboard now. Someone helped me. Damn, it's hot today. I keep my receipts in a big poly pocket book because makes my accounting 10 times easier damn it's hot today okay now time to go to screw fix So I've got all the materials now, I'll catch up with you when I get to the job. Uh, can I get ketchup please? Hello. Hello, I didn't even see you. <laughs> right. So right now, as you can see, I'm just unloading the van, getting the work area sorted, getting my batteries on charge and then getting ready to start the job. So on this day, I'll be taking out the wall and moving it 300 mil forward. This is so that the customer can fit a bed in opposite the wall long ways. So right now first, I'm just taking out the plasterboard. I'm just cutting around the perimeter so I can take it out easier. So I don't bore you, I'm just gonna do a quick time lapse slash edit of me taking down this wall. Hope you enjoy. Now that the plasterboard's off, I thought it'd be best to check my measurements and check with the customer how far he wants the wall moved over, just to make sure. Part here, this is 300 coming forward. Yeah. The plasterboard yeah. reaches there. So this will be the end of the wall. Okay, so now, because we're going to get a single wardrobe, right? And it might be back a bit, what would you say? 
Because honestly, in my head, I knew rough it's going to come about here. And on the sides of the bed, do you get in there? Yeah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. that's the governing bit. That's the bit, isn't it? Right now, I'm just marking the new measurements, allowing for the wardrobe to fit in comfortably. To be honest, I could have reused these timbers, but the customer just wanted new timber, so, yeah. Also, I spoke to the customer and he doesn't want insulation put in the wall. He said the rooms get too hot anyway, and you don't really need it. It's just a separating wall. The insulation will only be good for noise reduction really, but yeah, he doesn't want it. But right now, I'm just going to fuel up and take down the rest of this wall. Hope you enjoyed the edit. So here, as you can see, I've taken out the stud wall, taken out the return. Now here, I'm just going to notch out to sit the stud inside the wall. What I mean is, I'm going to cut out the plasterboard and sit my stud against the block work. I'm also going to put some timber in this part here and make another return. Get me cracking them. You can start taking all the rubbish down. Oh, you're gonna set me off like that. Yes, I am. Let me, let me break some walls down. Well, yeah, you can break down that one. When you've took the rubbish down, you can break that one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can break down that one. When you've took the rubbish down. While I was notching out for the stud, the apprentice turned up. He had a doctor's appointment. So first things first, he's on cleaning duty. <laughs> Is that, is that meant to be saying there? After that unfortunate event, I asked if the apprentice was okay, if he needed to take two. He was alright, and we just 
cracked on with the job. I'm not going to need the floor up. Oh, yeah. Nah, because Tyrell's made a hole in the ceiling, I might as well make the hole slightly bigger and do my character from underneath. Okay, cool. Right. So, so I'm checking up and messing with the floor. Yeah. I'll just, once you put your timber down across the floor, I'll have to drill through the timber and through the floor into the um, ceiling void. Alright. Okay, yeah, cool. So here, as you can see, I've just put a noggin in and then I'm putting a stud in for the corner support. Once the support's in, I head off to the shop to go get some board to repair the floor while the apprentice takes down this wall. merchants I just repair the floor and then erect the stud wall now I am gonna do a video edit here just so the video doesn't get too long but you can follow along and see how I do this <laughs> So right now, as you can see, I'm just working on the stud wall. 
just screwing down the bottom plate first. I am building this wall in situ because I don't have enough room to build it on the floor and prop it up. And I am using screws on all of this because my nail gun actually broke. So, don't have a nail gun at the moment. Once I've got the top and bottom plate in, I just measure for all the studs. While the apprentice marks and cuts the studs. We're passing it through the window because it's quicker, easier and there's no risk involved. Now I am going to do one final edit to finish off the day. Just of me erecting the stud wall. Hope you enjoy. At this point I was running a little bit late for a quote so me and the apprentice had to leave to go quote some jobs. And then the next day we just finished off. I'll quickly run through what we got done on this day. So the electrician disconnected and moved the sockets. My morning's been good. Hmm? My morning's been good. Yeah, cool. I adjusted and added another stud on the stud wall. The electrician is also working on the spotlights. This is how he's getting on. Me and the apprentice got the plasterboard up and plasterboarded the wall. Nice. Nice. Now, is that um, all level? Or does it need to come down a bit? I think come down about one mil. I'm not sure. Ooh. How yeah. did that go? Did you take one out or put one in? I changed it for a blue. I changed the blue one for a green. I think that looks alright. Yeah? Okay. Cool. <laughs> While I'm putting the fixings in the plasterboard, I just want to say thank you for getting this far into the video. And if you enjoyed it, it will mean a great deal if you can like and subscribe. It truly does mean a lot. Uh, Tarao, yeah. I'm going to set you off on your next task, alright? Yeah. Before we can do the other side, the electrician marks and cuts out for one of the sockets. I've also gave the apprentice the task of cutting some noggins for the bottom of the stud wall. And he'll also be fitting the plasterboard on this side. While he's doing that, I'm adjusting and making up this stud wall. This stud wall also needs to be pushed back as far as it can to allow for a bed to fit in. To finish off, I'm going to do a quick short edit of us just finishing off the job. And I'll catch up with you once it's finished. This is how it looks once it's done. Now this was only half a day because we only had to finish off and build this stud wall. The electrician will also need to move this light switch because it's not centre of the room no more. And this is the other side that the apprentice done. And this is what it looks like plastered. So the plaster came in, done a good job, plastered the walls, the ceiling and yeah, 
Done a good job. The electrician also moved the light switch. And now the customer has enough space in each room to get the beds in that he wants. So yeah, it was a good job. If you got this far into the video, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. If you want to watch more videos, yeah, it's kind of funny because this happens in one of my videos. <laughs> All my information is linked down below. Thank you again and goodbye.